Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is a flip through of my Bohemoth monochrome journal. It is a whopping three and a half inch spine. It is six by nine inches. It has three signatures and each signature has 11 sheets of paper folded in half. So it has a lot. You can see it has lots of in paper or in uh, decorations with lace and fabric. And I've used this fun little trim or crocheted material for the closure. Let me get it open. And it is a fluffy journal. I showed a tutorial on how I made the cover, just cardstock here, and this is a cardstock a cover on this journal cover. Oops, my fabric, my, my trim is coming off. I may have to re-glue that. A uh, little fabric trim as well as some little fuzzy uh, embellishment trim here. I used the All About Robins kit and I'll just kind of quickly flip through it. I've done some stamping and distress ink and we've added some trims and lace and all kinds of little embellishments here and there. Use my stencils, rubber stamps there, coloring book page, stencil stamping, lots and lots of goodies in here. This is a paper clip that kind of holds this little piece in. I didn't do a lot of decorating on it. It was just something I thought would be kind of cool on this page. This is a paper sack and I made a little journal card out of some scrapbook cardstock. Made it some writing space on the front. Use Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist to make some patterns in the background. This is the Beach Rose stamp and the little bird trio. This is an envelope that I decorated. There's nothing inside. I just decorated this envelope. Linda Coker had sent me a little embellishment that she had made with some scraps of paper. So I made my own using my sewing machine, fancy stitches and some paper. And I thought that turned out really pretty. I love the combination of stenciling and stamping with the digital images that Norella of Calico Collage put together. I've also got some pages from uh, Tattered Angel, Seven Gypsies, and Canvas Court brands. I'm trying to use up things that I had in my stash tutorial on this page that shows you how I put it all together. This is a little file folder. I hope you'll check out the other tutorial page, uh, videos that I have. I've got uh, five of them, so we have quite a bit here. And I think there's a pocket here as well. There is. There's a pocket there and there's a pocket there. And then this is a multi-layered pocket. So we've got a journal card in the back here, another one here, and another one here. Kind of position that where you can see all the layers. Composition notebook paper, printed pages, more um, layering here of different journal pages. Lots of goodies in this journal. Another pocket here. These are some of Norella's journal lined papers that are normally for eight and a half by 11, but I told my computer to print these as, I think they're four, no, not four, three point, three point three and a half inch maybe in size. Fluffy goodness all throughout. Uh, this is one of my stencil drawings and I printed it because I thought it might be fun as a background. This is the next signature. 
I liked layering different papers together onto a journal card and swing around and adding a little bit of lace. You know, someone had asked me if I had some black lace and I had just a small amount and I used it in this journal. Index card with stamping on it. This is where I used acrylic paint on a book page and then stamped around the edges. I also used a paper punch up here to get some lacy look out of paper. Another coloring book page. I did repeat some of the concepts in this journal only because I knew I was going to make it so fluffy and it helps me with um, not having to overthink each journal page. I did use up quite a bit of things. This is an example of how to attach fabric and lace to a page but you can't sew it directly on your page. So the stitches are not on this side, but they're on this little strip of paper that has been glued to the page. Again, we'll just keep, keep on going. I think one of my, ah, my tag got caught into the binding. So I'm going to snip it free. There we go. It happens sometimes when you leave all your goodies in it. And this one has lots of layers of embellishments on here. So you have writing space here and you have a journal card you can write on. I left the ties long in case we want to put charms on it later on. I hope you enjoyed this series. I've been a busy, busy lady. In fact, I started this series a long time ago, last year, and I was finally able to take some time and get all the videos edited. I had so many videos that I needed to edit, and I finally took some time to do that. Here's the third signature. Again, with some trim on the front, fabric pieces, layers of papers. This is a Midori style journal cover. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. So that means all these inner journals can be taken out and you can use them that way you can use it flat because it's a little bit difficult to write in a journal when it's inside the cover like this but you could take the journal out write in it and then put it back where's the center page there i hope you enjoyed the series like i said and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to ask me or leave me messages down below give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends if it has inspired you, maybe it'll inspire someone you know as well. Hey, if there's a technique or theme that you would like to see in a journal kit. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a pocket here. Uh, let me know. And if I can do it, I will try to put it together. All right, well, there's the end of the journal. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I greatly appreciate your support. I greatly appreciate your comments, your likes, and subscribing to my channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Do know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. When I'm not here, I will have a recorded video for you to watch. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.